All right, Rockstar, ready to run version. Now, where's that battery at? I know, eh, maybe it's in here? No, no, no. Oh, that's right, you're a liar! What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today, I've got another awesome surprise. You already know what it is. A new truck. Bam. The Rockster 124th four wheel steer mini rock crawler basher. Super excited to unbox this thing. It's a little different than some of the other uh, vehicles that I have. RTR version, now with metal gears. Um, and the cool thing that I was really excited about is the different steering. So it's got front wheel steering, rear wheel steering, crab steering, and four wheel steering for real tight turns. Looks pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. Here's some of the specifications. If you're curious, you pause the video and take a look. Okay, that's enough. Let's get into this thing. There it is. Work. We don't need any of that. This I'm excited for though. It's nice and heavy. Oh man, this thing is sweet. It's got metal, metal uh, plates on it, which I think is really cool. And four wheel steer. Oh, I'm so excited about this thing. This is gonna tear up the course. The, uh, the articulation on it is nuts. You can almost get with both back wheels planted. I mean, this thing's got all of the movement. Very excited. Very anxious to take this on the track. Two servos in the front and back for steering. And I love this metal. I think that's such a cool look. And it, like I said, it's got some it's got some heft to it for a 124 scale. Let's bust open this other box here. Set that back here. And controller. And there's nothing else. Where's the where's the battery? I don't think they supply any bat no. It takes four double A's. That did they didn't supply any of those. I don't see a charger either. Ready to run my ass. Okay. Um, not quite ready to run, I guess. Or a different definition of ready to run. No battery, no charger, and I don't think it said that on the box. Hang on. Let me take another closer look. All right, so it doesn't come with a battery. It doesn't come with a charger. It looks like I'll have to supply that myself. So I got a 2S LiPo that should fit in there on the way. In the meantime, let's take a look under the hood. It looks like mode is how you change the different steering, different trims, power, steering reverse, throttle reversed. Controller's got a nice heft to it. It's got a rubber grip on the edge. This is actually a pretty, pretty solid controller. Um, dang, I'm really bummed out how many batteries. I guess I won't release this until I have the batteries. So with the power of editing and time, I should have the battery right now. Uh, got the battery. So this is a. 2S LiPo, I think. I already forgot, but it's got the connector I need. And so I just want a quick disclaimer. The Charisma MSA 1E has this same connector. This takes a 2S LiPo. That truck doesn't. It's like a nickel metal hydrate one with the same connector. So I went and bought a 2S LiPo. I also bought a charger because in my mind 
I don't have a charger with this. This is the one for the Charisma. So it could charge with this, but this doesn't charge lipos, or I wasn't sure if it did. So I went and bought this thing on Amazon with an adapter that can charge these. And then my big dumb brain, when this arrived, realized, oh yeah, I even saw these in the photo. You can charge them with these. That's what they're for. So I was dumb. So if you're buying one of these, because you get a truck that doesn't come with a battery, I'm sure most people already know this in the RC community, but I'm still fairly new. Uh, a lot of batteries come with multiple connectors to charge with and connect with. So you don't need to buy one of these. I didn't even want to try this one for the MSA 1E, but I've got a battery. That's what counts. So we're going to pop this thing in. I've been so excited and patiently waiting to run this thing. I can't wait to see it. Oh, come on, get in there. Great. And I made sure to buy a battery that I know will fit, but also how well it'll fit, I don't know. All right, the battery's in, the truck has power. Let's check it out. So on the controller, oh my gosh, back up. We've got regular steering, rear steering, crab steering, and four wheel steering. So regular steering, nice. Rear steering, nice. Crab steering, whatever you need that for. And four wheel steering, yes! So excited. So, let's, well, before we take it over the course, let's take a look at it real quick. Okay, so, I realized looking back at what I had filmed almost a week ago while I was waiting for that battery to show up, I didn't really talk about the truck too much. Um, it does have these cool, uh, like, it feels like maybe aluminum or, you know, real thin stamped steel plates on it. Uh, the entire ECU receiver unit and battery is all in this box right here in the middle battery goes in the bottom all the electronics are in the top connectors and stuff uh, it does say waterproof on the box but i mean the rubber gasket around the battery box at the bottom seems to be pretty water resistant there's a lot of just kind of open electronics up here so i don't know how waterproof it is but you know if they say it i might try it um Dual steering servos, obviously that's how you get rear steer, really good articulation on the truck. S tires are very squishy, there's definitely nothing inside, there's no uh, foam or anything. They are a bit of a harder composite material than the normal tires, like they're pretty soft, but they just don't feel soft to the touch or as grippy as the other tires on all my other 24 scale trucks. Um, suspension's pretty good, looks like... It's got the nails here that just travel down in, you know, same as most standard shocks on the vehicles. They just come up through those holes there. But yeah, I mean, it, it's fairly basic. I, I said it was heavy when I pulled it out of the box because it was pretty heavy, but comparing it to like the Deadbolt now, it's actually pretty light. I would say it's about the same weight as maybe the Kyosho or maybe a stock SCX24, but once you start getting mods on them and stuff, they get quite a bit hot, uh, heavier. Almost everything on this is plastic. All the steering linkages, suspension linkages, um, the servos have a metal casing, but the motor casings and everything, the motor is on, uh, motor on axle design for both sides. You can see them down here. Everything on it's plastic except for the steering servo boxes, and actually, those are probably plastic too, just shinier. Yeah, I think the only metal on it is actually these little plates here, which is fine with me. Plastic bends, which is good. You don't want you don't want it to break. It, it's better if it bends than it breaks. Um, deep dish wheels, they're pretty wide. It's got a pretty wide stance. Okay, that's enough. I, 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 want, I want to run it. We're going to go run it. Let's go. Okay, we're starting out on the course on normal steering. I just kind of want to drive it around. I don't have any particular direction I want to go. I just kind of want to see how it handles. Um, I did notice that the um, clearance on the axles is pretty low because these tires aren't that tall. They're really wide, but they're not that tall. Okay, I need 
a little speed to get up there. And normally, yeah, normally my trucks can't get up there very well, but I'm going to switch over to four-wheel steer and see if we can make this. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. The four-wheel steer is so cool. I've been super excited to try that out. Yeah, this is awesome. So awesome. I don't know why I sang when I brought the battery into frame or why I'm singing now. It's I'm just it must be my excited reaction to just sing a little. Oh, it's an absolute crawling beast. I'm gonna have to come up with harder obstacles for this thing because this is just eating these alive. Oh my god, how did I how did I get turned around? So here's the other thing that I've noticed from other people who have four-wheel steering vehicles. You don't always have to four-wheel steer everywhere. Sometimes, like this corner, I'm pretty sure it's just smarter, yeah, to go up two-wheel drive or two-wheel steer. Four-wheel steer can be really handy and help you get around places, but it doesn't need to be the end-all be-all, you leave it there all the time, so. But I mean, look at the crazy articulation on this thing. Let's see if we can get a good shot of how how much that thing flexes. I mean, yeah, you'd have, you'd have to find a pretty gnarly obstacle for this to not be able to get up there. So my front tires are rough. Let's try rear steer. not a very good driver as it is. I don't know if I know what I'm doing here. I will say this is quite a bit noisier than the other trucks. I don't know if it's a, a mesh issue in the motor or what, but it makes a lot of noise crawling. It has very good slow crawlability. Yeah, that thing's awesome. To go over this course, um, it's definitely not fast. Full throttle is that. That's the slowest truck I have by far, compared to all the other ones. Let's see if we can get up this pretty easy. No problems whatsoever. A little bouncy on the way up, but that's all right. Axle's supposed to be sideways when you go through. So this corner, this thing is pretty wide. I think I'm gonna need four, four wheel steer for this corner. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. Oh, I lost it around the corner. And I flipped. Let's see how it does going up this thing. Seriously, no idea. Not a good singer, don't know why I'm singing. But let's let's give this a shot. So we'll start in front front wheel steer. Backwards, are we that good? Actually, put it in rear steer, and now it's like we're going forwards. Oh, okay, rear tires didn't want to move there for a second. That was weird. The front tires are moving in reverse. You have to give it a little bit more throttle. That's weird. The rear motor must be underdriven or overdriven because if I do barely any reverse throttle. 
The rear wheels don't move. Forward. Same thing with forward. Full throttle, they all move. If I go slow enough, I did not know that. So it must be underdriven or overdriven. I'm not sure what the term is for that or which one's correct, but I know that the front wheels are moving a lot quicker than the rear ones. And sometimes they're the only ones moving. Let's try and go up this in four wheel steer now. That full lock though. Weird. Sometimes the rear wheels just don't want to go. That full lock, they stop. Is that like a drag brake design or something? I don't know. I'll have to look into that, see if everyone's does that. Maybe mine's just busted or broken. I don't know. But it definitely makes it up this. Oh yeah, we were trying to see if it makes it down. That's right, because most of my trucks struggle with that. I don't know maybe it's these wheels these wheels make it super wide you know what i want to do i got an idea i think these have i'll have to look inside i think these run on the same hex hub, hub design that all of the 24 scale trucks that i have run on or most of them anyways i guess not all of them do i want to see if i could swap these out for one of my other trucks like the deadbolt or something, something that's a skinnier tire to get the width down and get some height under this axle. I'm gonna try and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I finally got the wheels swapped over. Um, this thing looks pretty cool. It looks like a pretty standard rock crawler now. I really like how soft these are. It's got some weight in the wheels as well. So we're definitely gonna take this thing over to the course and see how it compares to the stock wheels now that it has something with a little more grip. But also this thing, looks awesome with these uh, Basher Rocksta wheels on it. Yeah, this is so sick looking. I don't know, I don't know if I'm ever gonna put the stock wheels back on it. I love them on the deadbolt. I like how like how wide they are. They stick away from the truck. Um, I mean, these are pretty soft too. They're just definitely a harder compound, but I can't get over how cool this thing looks now. I love these wheels on this. I think this might be a permanent swap between these two trucks here. I'll have to try this out sometime too. Maybe tomorrow's video, if I film some stuff using these, we'll see if these are uh, any better or any worse than the standard tires. But I like the way this looks so much, I'm never gonna switch it back. But anyways, let's go take this thing over to the course and see how it does compared to when it ran with these things. Okay. Didn't expect it to have a hard time getting up that. Switch to four wheel steering here. Make it around this tight corner. see anything being an issue for this um, I will say with these wheels it definitely has a little higher center of gravity for the axles oh geez um, or sorry not higher center what am I talking about the clearance for the front and rear axles is a little higher because these wheels are just a touch taller or at least they feel that way as I said I don't think it'll have any problems and I can't even make it up around this corner We'll go this way then. But yeah, these uh, these grip really well. I am having all time. I think I'm using the uh, four wheel steer too much. Let's see, we'll go up here, turn. 
Yeah, maybe just two wheel steer is best for that. It's hard to gauge what you need two wheel steer for, what you need four wheel steering for. And also it has a ton of articulation, but I don't know, maybe it's just stiff, but like I can wiggle it to get the back of that thing to sit like that, but you saw how it was in the air. I don't know if that's just the suspension being a little too tight um, or what. Maybe I need to get softer springs to let it really move and flex better. But yeah, I don't know. I, these wheels are fine so far. They seem about the same as the old ones maybe. I definitely like the look of the stock tires for this thing on the deadbolt better, but I thought maybe these would have like better grip or I don't know. I guess I really don't know what I thought, but I thought it was gonna be better at climbing with these. It seems about the same. It's hard to tell. Let's go front wheels. over. Yeah, the turning radius on this thing is nuts though. The four wheel steer is awesome. Okay, so my back tire, if I turn it like this to go up the hill, obviously most of you know this, this tire is going to drive right off the edge. So we're going to flip to front steer. Yeah, these, these tires aren't hooking up very well on this stuff, and normally they do. I don't know. It's lighter than the deadbolt. Um, now that we're here, I think we can let's do a little rear steer. Let's do some four wheel steer. Nice. As far as crab steer goes, I don't know. What would you even use that for? cool that it does it, but it really only keeps you going in a straight line no matter what you do. Maybe for crawling up the side of a hill? I don't know. If anyone knows it down in the comments, if like crab steering is a real thing on real rock crawlers, I'm not sure, and what they use it for, that'd be cool. It's been fun to have. But yeah, I like it with the uh, stock tires. I like it with these tires. I think it's about the same, but like I said, the deadbolt looks so freaking sick, in my opinion, with these big, chunky tires on it that I'm probably going to keep these on here and just keep them permanently swapped like this. Especially because it was not a fun process to swap all eight tires. I thought it'd be really simple, but I need two different sized tools for the different sized nuts on the end here. Um, the hub adapters on the inside here, the little plastic ones, are different than these, and they have a lot bigger, like, little metal pins. Um, longer ones that go through the axle to keep the hub spinning with it. So it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. And I don't know if I want to take the time to swap them back. But yeah. Hope you guys liked the review. Hope you enjoyed it. This little crawler is super awesome. Um, I highly recommend it to anybody looking into getting, you know, a little 24 scale crawler. These are a lot of fun because they're difficult, especially when you're trying to navigate any sort of terrain like a real truck or something, a lot of the fun with these slower crawling RC cars is taking them and making challenging obstacles to try and get over. With this thing, there's not much that's a challenge. And if it gets to the point where it is such a challenge this that this has a hard time doing it, it probably just won't do it. 
Um, it seems to flip pretty easy. Again, these tires are skinnier, so that might be part of the problem when I was flipping over there um, or up here. But overall, really nice RC car, really well built. Um, the steering options are cool. I wish they had four wheel steering like as an option for these. I know you can mod them and stuff, but just out of the box as an option, it's really cool. And I'd like to see more companies start doing that with these smaller 24 scale trucks, but who knows? Anyways, hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.